Hello everyone, Jeff Siegel here, and you are in the right place if you are out there looking for continuous glucose monitors. And maybe you're searching for different brands, trying to figure out whether you should use the Levels Health or the NutriSense program. And so let me break down for you my experience using these two glucose monitors. And so first, if you are just looking for some more information about why blood sugar regulation is so important, check out some of the other videos on my channel where I go into the basics of blood sugar regulation and how it impacts your metabolism, your mood, your weight, and all of these other things. You can also check out my entire 28-day journey using the Levels Health program where I walk you through some of my insights as I'm using it day to day, capturing that data on what's going on in my body. And so broadly speaking, all right, I think that continuous glucose monitors are a really terrific technology if you fall into one of these three groups, right? The first group being that you have some sort of diagnosed blood sugar issue. Maybe you are pre-diabetic or trending in that direction. Maybe your doctor said that you might become insulin resistant and you need to pay more attention to your diet and what's going on. So if you're in that group or it is a medical necessity, then these are definitely, definitely tools that can be helpful for you. The second group, all right, is maybe you have been on a weight loss journey. You are tired of being sick and tired, as they say. Right? Maybe you've kind of yo-yoed your way, you're just kind of fed up with all the old ways you've been doing things and you're looking for a new tool to help you. In this situation, a continuous glucose monitor can be really a new way for you to experience how your diet, your exercise, your sleep, and all of these things are gonna impact your metabolism and ultimately impact things like fat storage, energy expenditure, weight loss or weight gain. So that'd be group number two. And then group number three, all right, is gonna be that if you are metabolically healthy, but you are looking to optimize, maybe you wanna optimize your diet for longevity. Maybe you wanna optimize for some sort of performance, right? So maybe you're an athlete or maybe you're training for an event and you wanna really understand how your training and how your exercise can gonna impact your blood sugar and then how you can integrate the nutritional piece to make sure that you are getting the most sustainable energy without causing any unnecessary or potentially harmful highs and lows. So why do I mention these three buckets? Well, because I think that if you are looking at the NutriSense versus the Levels program, all right, you might be better um, off in one of these two apps if you fall into these particular buckets, right? Specifically, I think if you are in the place of optimizing, right, looking to optimize your health for longevity or for performance, the Levels app can be a really, really wonderful tool to help you do that. If you are more in the medical necessity area or more in the weight loss area, I think the NutriSense program can offer some additional things that are beneficial that can help you on that. And I'll get into that in a moment. But first, I just want to clarify that both of these programs are using the same basic hardware. Right? It is a 14-day Lieberlink continuous glucose sensor that you attach to the back of your arm. Right? So at the end of the day, what we're talking about here is really a difference in the app, in the user experience, in the program, and in the pricing. So talking about pricing, all right, I don't want to get too much into that because these are things that are always going to be changing and shifting. All right? Generally speaking, the main difference all right, between levels and, and um, NutriSense is the type of pricing and packaging they offer. All right, levels at the moment has a year-long membership fee and then you pay for the monitors month by month as you go. NutriSense offers three months, six month, year-long packages that you can buy. At the end of the day, all right, when you crunch the numbers, both end up costing basically the same amount, plus or minus $50. So the cost isn't really all that different. All right, what is different is that NutriSense gives you one month with a dietitian to help you unpack the data. And I'm gonna say that is a really, really valuable thing, all right? I think it's so important to work with a dietitian, a nutritionist, or a health and wellness coach like myself to help you make sense of what all of these different dietary shifts are doing to your body so you can really begin to educate yourself and then ultimately make better decisions so you can learn from this experience in the future. All right. When I use NutriSense, I really enjoyed getting to have that constant contact with a nutritionist where I could check in and be like, 
hey, you know, tell me a little bit more about what alcohol does to blood sugar, right? Like, I noticed this happening the last night when I had a couple of drinks. Or, hey, like, I see that my, you know, fasting blood glucose is up a little bit in the morning. Like, can you help me understand why that might be? And so offering this back and forth to better make sense of your experience is really helpful. I do believe that Levels offers a dietitian or a nutritionist, however, that comes at an additional cost. All right, so that's something to consider whether you think that would be a helpful piece of this puzzle for you. So, what are some of the other differences between Levels and NutriSense? Well, NutriSense allows you to input your food and has a pretty sophisticated place for calculating macronutrients. And so if you're the type of person that likes to have that control all right, and wants to have that data, this is sort of an all-in-one app that can capture that. Whereas for some of you, all right, maybe you've been down the whole calorie counting place and you don't want to go back down that rabbit hole, and I totally hear you on that, right? Tracking your food, logging all of the things that you eat, you know, may not be the right thing for you at this point in your health and wellness journey. And so if you would like to stay away from that process, then the Levels Health app all right, it just offers a really simple way where you just input the food with a picture and then leave it at that. So something for you to consider, right, how in-depth you want to go with the food tracking. All right, again, NutriSense is going to allow you to capture a lot more data. Even if you're measuring things like ketones, there's a place for that in the NutriSense app. And so you can have a dashboard of what's going on nutritionally um, as well as what's going on then in terms of graphing your blood sugar changes. Both of the apps are going to be calculating kind of your meals and giving them a score based upon how they see your blood sugar shifting. Then that's a measure of how much your blood sugar spikes after the meal, how long it stays elevated, how long it takes to come back to baseline. Right. Um, some of the other things that I think that are really differences between these two apps. All right, ultimately, in terms of how they are packaged, Levels really builds itself as a 28-day right, kind of metabolic health program. And what they're doing is they're really walking you through day by day, week by week guidance, and they're gonna give you articles educating you on what's going on in your body. They're gonna offer you particular challenges that you can do experimenting with eating this way versus eating that way. And so in this sense, I find that Levels is really much more almost like an online virtual class. It's like a virtual course that you're taking for 28 days that is involved with the blood monitor. And so it's very educational. And as an educator myself, I really appreciate this piece of it. The Levels Health has a wonderful blog with so much good information on it. And so I think they do a really good job helping people truly understand why metabolic health is so important and how all the surrounding lifestyle factors, right, when it comes to stress management, when it comes to sleep hygiene, when it comes to relationships, and how all those things are also going to impact not only your food intake, but then ultimately your blood sugar. So I like the educational piece with the Levels app. Um, on the other hand, the NutriSense app um, is just a little bit simpler in that end. They do have articles and educational piece, um, but it's not quite packaged in this course-like way that kind of walks you through week to week what's going on, offering you some data in that sense. However, again, they do have the nutritionist on board, which I think makes up for a lot of that, giving you some really personalized opportunities to learn what's going on. So at the end of the day, again, there's a way more similarities than differences between Levels Health and NutriSense. They're both using the same hardware. They're both going to give you all right, the same opportunity to really see what's going on in your body in real time after you eat. Pricing is pretty similar, all right? And some of the differences have more to do with just sort of user experience. Personally, I think the Levels Health app is a little bit sleeker looking. I like the design and the aesthetics. Uh, NutriSense is just a little bit kind of clunkier in my opinion, all right? Um, but then again, the Levels Health app still requires you to use two apps. You've got to open the Lieberlink app and then open the Levels app to import the data. All right, and two apps is just a little bit more annoying than one. So some of these things, right, are pros and cons that are going to kind of balance out. The last thing I want to say really is about the companies themselves. Levels Health, all right, is a very transparent company. I really appreciate the way that they share how they operate internally. Right? So not just talking about metabolic health, but how do they manage their employees? They're a kind of distributed, asynchronous company. All right? How do they create a culture of inclusivity? And they have a wonderful podcast where they interview a lot of the employees of the company, giving them opportunities to share, giving them opportunities 
to chime in and talk about what it's like to work for Levels, what have they learned using the CGM. And I just think that this is a really wonderful way to ensure that the culture of the business itself is supporting people's health and wellness. Because we know that there are so many businesses out there that might put out good products, but working for that business could still be very toxic and unhealthy. And so I don't know that much about NutriSense. Um, in my opinion, they're not as transparent in terms of what they put out there and what it's like to work for them as a business. But I just think all of us need to be a little bit more aware of not just the products we're buying, but the businesses that are putting out those products and how are they treating the people and the planet. Because we all know that there is no healthy body without healthy communities and without a healthy world. So these are all things that I think are just important to consider as you are looking into one program versus another. All right. If you want to get some more information on how to level up and take control of your own health without falling into some of the hyper-masculine hyper patterns of sort of like overanalyzing dietary dogma, um, pushing too hard and being really self-critical, get in touch with me. All right. I can offer and guide you through a different all right, scientifically sound, sustainable, and self-compassionate way of taking care of yourself. And so until next time, Jeff Siegel here. Breathe, smile, and take care of your blood sugar.